Hello everyone. Let us do the next important question which actually came in the May 2025 RTP also. This question is similar to a question in your study material which starts with the name of Dayal and they both have exactly the same adjustments. The only difference is that the numbers have been a little bit interchanged. So let's not uh, delay any further friends. Let's start off with this question. Question number four of May 2025 RTP. So I'll write down inside this working note number one, basic data. Every question we start with basic data because once we write down the numbers, we get very good grip on the question and we can solve it also very, very effectively. AB is having a share which is having a present selling price of 500. So I'll write down P0 as 500 rupees or I think we'll call it as S0. Point number B, the investor wants to buy the share. The price may go up or the price may come down. So I'll write down point number B, range of S1. They feel the price will either go up to 650 or 450. Point number C, after we have put these two numbers, they have given the probability also. Fine, I think that's better to put in a decision tree diagram, which I will put it very, very soon. Now they have given you the exercise price, which is 150. So E1 is equal to not 150, 550 rupees. All right. Yes. From this, I will now write down working note number two. Decision tree in the spot market. All right, so what is the spot price that we have over here? Is it 500? The price may be either 650 or it will come down to 450. Am I right? And they have given the probabilities also over here as 70%, 30%. Okay, now I'll write down working note number three. From this data, I can go and find out what will be the decision tree in the option market. So here, if you see, you have a price of how much 550. So you have a right to buy at what price at 550. If the price is going up to 650 rupees friends, in that case, will you exercise or will you lapse? You will exercise. And when you exercise, will you get a price of 100 over there? So I'll write down over here, exercise. If it falls on, what will you do? You will lapse and the value will become how much it will become zero. Once we get this information friends, I will just write down working note number four. I would like to find out the value of the option under binomial model because all the data are available with us. This is not a part of your solution, but once we get this, you will understand how this will be useful for our solution friends. All right. Fine. They have also given the RF as how much 20%. So what's the formula for binomial model friends? Cu into I minus D divided by U minus D plus Cd into U minus I divided by U minus D whole divided by I. So now Cu, if the price goes up, you get 100 into I is going to be 1.20. D is going to be the proportion of down price that is 450 divided by 500. If I'm not wrong, that is 0.9, but let me still confirm. Yes, it is 0.9. Whole divided by, what about the U? U will be how much now? It's going up to 650. So what is 650 divided by 500? It's 1.3. 9 plus CD is 0. Whole divided by 1.2. So when I solve this, I'll get 0.3 divided by 0.4. That is 0.75. So I think you'll get the answer as how much? You'll get the answer as 62.5. 50 rupees. Okay. Once we get this answer, we are going to now start solving this question using the data that are given in the question. So the first information that is given over here is that 
If the investor wants a perfect hedge, what combination of share and option should he share select? So I'll write down the next working note heading. Combination of share and option for a perfect hedge. Friends, here I'll just spend some time explaining to you the logic of what exactly happens over here. So the logic actually is based on beta's formula. So have we learned, so I'll just put a line over here. Left side, I will tell you the logic. Right side, what we will do is we'll put up the parallel numbers. Okay. So for beta, one of the formulas that we use is change in X divided by change in the market. Like that, once we get the beta, then what we do is in order to find out the perfect H, we use the formula S0 into beta into 100 percentage. Am I right? Fine. So when you put these numbers, we get a particular amount and that is the amount that we go short in the futures market. Am I right? Here also we are going to do something similar but not exactly similar but slightly similar. Here what we will do is we will find out, we will call it as delta. That will be change in option divided by change in the stock price. So now what is the change in the option? You have 100 minus 0 and the other one is 650 minus 450, correct? So when you do like this, you'll get the answer as 100 divided by 200 or do you get the answer as 0 0.50 friends, correct? After we take this, just the way we did earlier, here also we have to do S0 into beta. So what is the spot price that they have told over here is 600 rupees into 0.5 into 100% hedging. So when I do like this, do I get the answer as 300, correct? Here once I get the answer as 300, what I will do is I will write down a conclusion that for every this 300 is nothing but it is 50%. Am I right? That is this is how we got that a uh, 0.5 for every 0.5 shares which we buy we have to sell one call. This will result in a perfect hedge my dear friends. How I will show you now in the next page. All right. So friends, once you get this information clear, let me prove it to you as to how buying 0.5 share and selling one call option will give you a perfect hedge. So I'll write down a heading over here called as proof. So here we have two scenarios. Scenario number one, the price goes up to 650. Today the spot price is how much? 600. The price can either go up to 650 or the price can fall down to how much? It can fall down to 450. If it goes up to 650, I am having two steps over here. What are the two steps? One, I am buying 0 0.50 shares. Two, I am going to do what? I am going to sell one call. Am I right? So now, if I buy 0.5 shares for 650 rupees into 0.5, will I get 325 rupees as a value over here? I have sold a call, so somebody else has bought the call. Somebody else has a right to buy at what price? At I think 630, just confirm the numbers. Sorry, 550. Somebody else has a right to buy at 550 and he will sell it outside at what price? He will sell it outside at 650. So what will be the profit that he will make over here friends? The profit that he will make over here will be 100. So if he is making a profit, we are going to make a loss of 100. So what is the net gain or loss that you get over here? Do you get the net amount as 225? Exactly in the same way. If the price is coming down to 450, also I am having two parts over here. What are the two parts I have over here? Buy 0.5 shares, sell one call. So here what will happen? This will come down to 225. Now I have a right to buy at 550 outside market 450. So will I exercise or lapse? The buyer will lapse. Writer will not have anything. The net amount will be how much? 
225. Hence, friends, here I have proven it to you that whether the price goes up or the price falls down, your gain or loss will remain exactly the same. The next two adjustments, I would prefer taking it as a separate video, friends. So till here, you learn it in this and click on the link given below, which will connect you to the next video where I will give the extension of the next part. Thank you so much.